All right, so I have this um, rifle scope cam for for a smartphone made by uh, Discovery Optics. Now, if I've tried, I bought other uh, scope cams before, and they, none of them really worked quite well, or at least I didn't like them. And this is this is one I actually like. It's uh, it's actually surprisingly pretty nice. So how they sell this is um, is how I bought it anyways. So I bought each one of these adapters separately and this is also separate. Um, so these right here basically fits onto the rifoscope, right? Depending on the uh, diameter of you know of your where your eyepiece is and it slips on. So um, how it works is it has this uh, it, it slips over Oops. and you, you, you just heard that and right? it's all metal this whole thing's metal that's what I like about it it's very high quality and uh, it's very precise you know this thread this thread here that I put through here it's you know, it's it's like perfect fitting thread so it's so it's actually machined very you know very nicely so basically you know if it fits or not so this this smaller one is actually too small for this this scope this is my, you know, my Helos, my Athlon Hel Helos. Very nice scope, by the way. Uh, I think I made a video. I'm not sure if I made a video, a review video on, on the scope or not. If I did, check it out. If I didn't, uh, I will probably make one sometime in the, in the future. Uh, so anyways, before I mount this on, let me show you this, you know. So you got the two different sizes, right? The range, as far as diameter goes. And you can see there, and you could probably uh, see it on, on, you know, on your monitor, especially if you have a bigger monitor, you can see what, what it is. And uh, the other thing I ordered, is, and all these are actually separate. This is for a smart, you know, Apple smartphone. Um, here's my smartphone. Uh, this is a iPhone. What was this? A five, a five S, whatever. You know, it's kind of old, or the old, older version. The one, what you're seeing the video on, what's being recorded. That's that's the my new iPhone, uh, uh, iPhone SE. So it snaps in. Uh, this piece here is plastic. You hear that? It's plastic. But this piece here is it's actually metal. It's aluminum. It's just like all oh, this is all aluminum. So you actually see um, how it's put in there, right? So how this works, how it mounts in there, it you know uses these these plastic uh, pieces here that are meant for. You know, the various sizes for example this way here is meant for you know that within that diameter uh, so this what was two three four four different uh, four different um, range so basically the smallest one is 38 millimeters and the largest one goes all the way up to 48 so basically between 38 and 48 so that's the range here right 38 to 43, and this one is 43 to 48. So um, you basically see you see which which one actually fits. So this is too loose here. So that's the biggest one. So that's not gonna work. I don't think the smallest one's gonna work, or the second smallest one. This one is uh, actually let's see. 41 to 43, 43 to 45. Okay, let me try the second biggest one. 43 to 45. Because I guess. Try the biggest one, right? And you guys saw that it didn't. It was. It's too big. So this one. Actually, you know what? Before you do that, I actually should put this thing on. Basically, how it works, how it fits, is that um, you know, as this slips in, this this is in here. It actually goes in like so, and as you as you screw this down and and it tightens and, it, and it's and it's you know you see this is tapered is. It pushes in further in as it pushes in because it's tapered, uh, you know, and, and the fit here is, you know, when you put this on, it's, it's like that. As it, as it gets pushed in, it, it pinches tighter and tighter, and that's how it works, right? Uh, other thing about this is that uh, on, the, on the other end here, it also has a similar thing, but so this end goes in like so, right? This other end is it has the same same basically same type of the same uh, uh, 
uh, actually it doesn't have a well actually it does have this the little uh, slip joint thing here but what that this the other end does is that it actually controls so this length is basically the telescopic remember with rifle scopes there's always some type of eye relief right you, your eye needs to be a certain distance from from the lens you know usually it's like somewhere in the three to four inch range somewhere so so that's what this is for this is to to adjust so that way you're in that eye range otherwise it won't um it won't you know the the camera won't be able to uh, focus properly so put a little lock ring on there a yeah, little slip joint here uh, or pinch i don't even know what the thing is called pinch joint or whatever um and this piece again that and it just goes in like so right it only goes in so far right so funny thing is that I had this I've had this thing for oh geez how long have I had this thing for I've had this thing for uh, I think like eight months and this yesterday actually yesterday was the first time I ever uh, actually mounted it up on a, on a scope um, because I've just been busy uh, you know some some of you folks you uh, you know shooting is your main hobby so you devote more time to it Shooting is not my main hobby. It's just a sort of a side hobby, uh, a side interest. Uh, you know, riding, riding bikes is my main hobby. So you look out at my videos. You know, most of my videos is on on about bikes or at least bike maintenance. Uh, all right. So now that's tight. So it doesn't. You know, I guess it does kind of spin a little bit. Just anyways, tighten it up. It doesn't really slide anymore. This end here, how this end works is that this backing plate here it actually uh, spins on as well. Uh, I need to control this right now. This is piece is just loose, so I could you know adjust this. Once you tighten this down, you know this doesn't really move anymore. So I'm gonna leave it loose for now. And look at this um, how this works. The cool thing I like about this is that it's a very nice fit. It's very uh, it's, it's a very snug fit, but it's um, but the bad thing about that is that it's it's kind of it's really difficult to take the phone off. Uh, maybe another phone might be different, or or the newer ones might be different because you know because the edge here is it's it's rounded. You know, like on the the iPhone six and such, they're rounded. On the iPhone five or five S here, it's not. You know, it's a it's a it's a square. It's more of a square edge, and it has a has a little bit of a lip on both sides. So, so it actually kind of, kind of catches on. So it's, so it's, uh, it's very difficult to remove. Uh, so that's a pro and a con because it's the good thing is that, you know, it stays on very well. But the bad thing is that it's, you know, it's hard to remove, right? So before I put this on, there's only one thing I, I don't like about this setup. Not not necessarily here, but here, is that when they made this, the hole here is not perfectly concentric with the 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 lens itself so it's slightly off just by like it looks you know eyeballing it it looks like it's off center by about oh i would say maybe two millimeters one one or two millimeters not not very much but you'll see it let me uh screw this on and you'll see you see what i'm talking about on the uh on this once i turn this this on so so i'm not quite happy about that i mean i've seen pictures of of you know, of this thing and with a phone on it, but then obviously they're not using an iPhone; they're using some other phone, and it's uh, and it's perfectly centered. So I think it's just you know, just it's probably just this this uh, model, you know, the iPhone uh, five five model. Uh, yeah, it does that. So let me turn this on. So, uh, actually, let me. Yes, that's right. So, obviously, right now it's, uh, you know, I'm in my kitchen, so, so distance wise, and I don't have, it's not gonna, obviously, it's not gonna focus because, you know, this is a, 
right now I have the minimum magnification, which is six times. It's still, still too close, and the the parallax is too still too close. Let's look at it um, from here, just to talk about how the the lens was not centered with with the uh, with the um, oops. What did I just do? I can just press record. So you see how it's basically it's not centered because right? the lens in that hole was wasn't wasn't centered so, so now you can see where my my uh view is it's it's not centered so that kind of sucks uh let me magnify this or zoom this out so you can see that and the good thing about the phone is that it actually it actually focuses on the reticle so that's good so so i know my reticle is 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 focused properly so so i'm good there so all i need to do is you know focus the parallax and it, it actually is, it has a good image so right now it's at six times magnification actually let me tighten up this let me flip this around this way. So this is the top of the, uh, oops. This is the top of the, uh, this side is the top of the uh, the crosshairs. So it's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's close enough. I'm just gonna tighten it down. Just, just so you guys can see it. Uh, so I actually, I zoomed out, right? On, on the, so that way I can see a bigger, a bigger uh, uh, instead of zooming the camera in, right? Instead of zooming the camera in, zooming it out. So you, obviously that's you know it's off centered. So that's kind of that kind of sucks. Uh, let me zoom the the scope itself. So you can see the numbers getting getting bigger, right? So as you see, it's actually focused on the uh, more or less focused on the. So here I am, oops, sliding. Remember that thing slides, right? This, this piece right here slides. So I slide that further out. It's and now now it's not. Um, now I'm too far away from the from the uh, uh, the eye relief, right? So I'm I need to slide it in, and basically I'm sliding it into the closest position, and it seems to give me the best results there. So you know, so it's good there. So really, all I need to do is just tighten it down from there, but. You know, kind of hard to tighten this down and holding holding it with my hands, so I'm just gonna leave it leave it like that. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so you can see that it's focused to, to the reticle, and so that's perfect because once you once that you adjust the parallax uh, focus, you know that will focus with the same as the reticle, so so it's good. Uh, so it, you know, it, so it works. Uh, so this thing is pretty nice. It's just that being off center is just kind of goofy. Um, I guess you could you could s s move it around so that way that way um, you know if you're like so um, here's the bottom of the of the uh, crosshairs and this up here is the top uh, if you have to do any type of holdover you know here you are at the bottom and, the, and actually it'll, it'll kind of work out but still uh, it's just this mount it's not right you know now they do make a universal mount. I'm I'm thinking I might try that, and you know, for then you could move it around. Um, but uh, but uh, but overall, as far as how you know how it holds on here with the phone and everything, it's you know actually I haven't actually put this on the gun and, and shot it with it or anything yet. But you know, like I said, I just literally just barely took this thing out of the box uh, uh, yesterday. Um, but, but anyways, and you see how it, and it works and I really like it. It's just, it, I think it holds really well, uh, especially if you, your phone's smaller and lighter. Maybe if the phone's heavier, it might be kind of, uh, in, you know, because the iPhone, where the lens is, it's kind of off, um, you know, off to one side. So it's, so the weight's going to be kind of off, but some of, some other phones, like some of the, I think the Samsung's and such, their lens is actually like in the middle. So, so, uh, or closer to the middle somewhere. And so you could move the phone, so the phone's in a different position. So it's a little better balance. Um, let's see what else about this. Um, yeah, so, so the mount here, I actually like it's, it's very high quality. It's just when they did that, they just kind of screwed up and it's, and it's, you know, not concentric. Um, turn this thing off. So it wasn't concentric, right? Uh, otherwise, it uh, see it holds up pretty, pretty cool. 
uh, I just really like the design. I like the, I like the fact that it's all metal and it's actually very precise, you know. Looking at the thread here um, and, and how much slop there is, it's actually very, it's very uh, precise. Uh, all metal, all aluminum, uh, you know, high, you know, very high quality, I would say. Uh, obviously made in, made in China. You see the Chinese right there. Um, but it's one of those one of those few made in China stuff that's actually uh, a nice quality. It's just they just screwed up here where the mount is um, for the at least for the iPhone five. Anyways, I have no idea how how if the iPhone six or or the other phones is concentric or not. But on the five, it's at least on mine, it's not concentric. So. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, otherwise, yeah. Let's see if I pop this off. It's really difficult, and I have my nails are all short. So the best spot is actually to do this corner because this is the smallest corner here. Everything else is real big, and and it's harder. You know, harder to uh, to it doesn't have as much give. We still have to kind of. God, I can't even get my nails in there. Let me. Flex just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Uh, there it goes. So that was kind of you know, difficult to take off. So, anyways, uh, overall, it's a pretty nice piece. Just that one problem there, and that's the only negative, you know, to it. Um, but uh, yeah, and you know how it mounts here. It's it, it's not too. Um, it's you know it's not too bulky. Where you know some mounts, it's more bulky. Uh, you know when your when your gun is on, you know, when your rifle scope's on the gun, uh, this right here is is pretty low profile. So hopefully it doesn't you know hit the hit the gun itself, hit the rifle, uh, the top of the uh, either the barrel or the the the, uh, the um, receiver and the action. Um, but you know I have pretty I have very low mounts on on here as well. Uh, and actually I, I you know this this goes on a bullpup. So my my rail actually ends. I think my rail ends somewhere here. So I have down here. There's nothing. This you know empty space. So I have no problems with clearance at all. <clears throat> For folks that are using rifles instead of a bullpup, and if your rifle is real low, uh, uh, you know you might have to go with some rings that are a little bit higher just to clear this. And this space is. Uh, this space looks like it's. It looks about three three eighths of an inch. Uh, to me, and I'm pretty close to three eighths of an inch. Um, yeah. So, for the most part, this will work on most uh, most scopes. Uh, one of my other scope, I have a MTC uh, um, Connect. You know that scope is is designed to have a very wide field of view. So the eye relief is like literally an inch. So this this actually won't work on it because the distance between where the the eyepiece is to where the camera is, it's still a good three inches. So maybe two and a half inches. So if you know if your eye relief is less than less than two and a half inches, actually let me go grab my grab my. Uh, take my measure real quick. So. At least on this one, this is the smaller version. And actually, yeah, the length the, the length on this the smaller version is just a tad bit shorter. It looks like about three millimeters or so shorter, maybe four. So it's about right here, so the, where the end of the eyepiece inserts. And this thing is, let's see if this is all the way up, it's all the way in. The end of the eyepiece to where it, to where the camera lens is is. So it's going to be about three inches. Or just just under three inches, so so you need a you know it'll work for for uh, for uh, uh, scopes that have a three inch eye relief or, or or a little bit more. I mean you probably have a little bit less. It just uh, uh, the focus might be off, or you might have to play with the uh, the the eyepiece focus here because uh, you know uh, the cool thing about you know these phones or the lens here is that you know this. There's an autofocus, so then, uh, so then um, hopefully you know you might be able to play with around with it a little bit, but you know it's best to to get the as close to the to the exact eyepiece.
distance that you can. Otherwise, your uh, that tunnel vision, you know, it, 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 it'll be off. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, Discovery Optics um, Rifloscope uh, uh, smartphone mount. Like I said, I tried a bunch of different ones and I actually returned all of them. Like I tried this Grosky and a few other ones. I just didn't like them. They just never quite worked very well or they just didn't hold up very well or they were too bulky or whatever, whatever. And there's all these different things and or the quality was just really, you know, really, really shoddy, really low. And this one is the only one that I saw and uh, that, I, that I actually, tried, that, you know, after having tried those other ones. Um, I mean, most of those other ones didn't even work out at all. I mean, I didn't even, most of them I didn't even, uh, wasn't even able to actually put the camera in on and then just, just, it just, you know, it just didn't really work out at all. So I ended up returning all of those and, uh, and uh, I bought this one. So, so it's pretty cool. All right. So that's me blabbering on for a while, 20 minutes. All right. So thanks for watching.